Hey you guys, today I'm going to be giving you some egg salad tricks and tips. You might know some of them already, but I want to teach you a couple of extra things as well at the end. So one of the things I will first talk about is the cooking time. Now this is a uh, slightly undercooked hard boiled egg. So when you do a hard boiled egg for your egg salad, the middles can get very dense and it's a little bit harder to mix them up. Now a hard boiled egg is going to typically take you about six to seven minutes in boiling water. I like to pull them out just slightly before that so they are still a little bit more of this bright yellow and they are a little bit softer in, and tender in the center so they mix a little bit better in my egg salads. You don't just have these hard chunks that you have to go through. But you're more than welcome to do them full hard boiled if you'd like. Um, another thing I want to teach you is deshelling the eggs. Now when they come out of the water, you want to quickly put them in a in a bowl with some cold water. Let them sit in there for a little while. It'll help with the deshelling process. Also, if you begin peeling the egg and it becomes a little tricky, you can always run the water and then just deshell them under the faucet as well. It'll help uh, the outer shell slip off a little bit quicker. Another thing you can use um, without having to worry about the shell is egglets. And what you do is you simply crack. Um, the egg into the little uh, unit here. You just crack the egg right in there. No shell. You toss the shell away. You twist on the top and you boil the whole thing in the water just like this and then you don't have to worry about the shells at all. So that's a that's a good little um, good little hack as well. Now um, the next thing that you can do for your egg salad is a variety of mix-ins. Now you can use jalapenos if you want something a little bit spicier. Just simply remove the inner, um, inner side of the jalapeno and just use the outside. If you want to remove like some of the seeds and the insides, it's a little bit spicier there. Or you can chop up the whole thing. And then I have here some celery as well. Celery is great. I also did some really small dices on baby cucumber. And let's talk about seasoning. Now seasoning, I have here some vegan mayo. And the vegan mayo is, does not have any eggs in it. Um, you can use a regular mayo. You can also use hummus. Hummus is a great alternative if you want to go a little bit less on the fat, a little bit more protein boost. Hummus is a great thing to add into your egg salads instead of mayo. Now for seasoning, here's a couple of new things you might want to try. Taco seasoning is a great choice. It gives it a little bit more of a Southwest flavor. With the taco seasoning, there's going to be a lot of salt in here. So you don't want to use extra salt if you, if you go ahead already and use a taco seasoning. Another thing to do would be curry, which is absolutely delicious. I happen to love curry flavor in with my egg salad. And you can also go a little spicier route and do sriracha. So let's get started. Here I have my eggs. Just want to give them a rough chop. Nothing has to be evenly sized here. Okay. I'm going to put them into my bowl. Add a couple of this. Okay. Now the first batch that I want to do here is I'm going to first do some sriracha. So I'm adding my mayo. I'm going to do a couple of squirts of sriracha, get that little spicy mayo going. Different profile gives it a little kick, not too much heat. If you want to do more heat, you're more than welcome. This would be great with the jalapenos as well. I'm going to just add a little bit more there. Spicy mayo goes great with eggs. It goes great on just about everything. All right, so here's our first flavor is the spicy mayo flavor. Gonna add that in. Gonna go ahead and add some of our celery for a nice crunch. It's nice to have a crunchy element with the egg salad. And we're also gonna add some of our delicious baby cucumbers. And you can just mix this up, incorporate it really well. delicious. Really, really good. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. I'm 
Now these would be great on crackers if you are um, doing like a little um, party appetizers. You can do a little veggie cracker. Simply put the egg salad on the veggie cracker. Add a little bit of garnish to the top. And then you can also garnish with some sesame seeds right on top of the cracker. Great for appetizers. Really, really great little, little bite there. Now the next that we're gonna do here, one of my personal favorites, is the curry egg salad. So here I'm just adding a little bit of curry to our mayo, giving it a nice mix. The curry has a really nice warm flavor. It's a great complement to the eggs. We're gonna get all that in our bowl. And it smells very nice, as I'm being reminded. It smells very, very nice. I'll go ahead and add a little bit extra of my celery and my baby cucumbers. The baby cucumbers are the way to go for this, guys. If you use a standard size cucumber, it's gonna to be too mushy, too watery, and the chunks are just gonna to be too big. It's gonna to be too wet. I highly recommend the baby cucumbers. You got little tiny seeds, you can't even taste them. It does not um, interfere with the flavor. So this looks just about right. It's got that nice yellow color. And I'm going to show you guys how to make a little tea sandwich with this. What you want to do is take some bread, take some bread here, put a little bit on our bread. If you're doing a Mother's Day brunch or a ladies tea, or you just want a little simple delicious snack in the afternoon, you can make a little tea sandwich. You could do it white bread. I'm using here a very hearty wheat bread just for a little bit more um, health benefits. And typically the tea sandwiches are served with the crust off. And then you can just chop them into little things and serve them right on our little tea plate just like that. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting and subscribing. Hope you enjoy these tips and tricks for our simple egg salad sandwiches. Have a wonderful day.